Hello everyone and welcome back to another Raiders video. In this video, I'll be giving my final game preview for the season, week 18 against the Broncos at home, so let's get into it. So now that we are officially eliminated, our draft pick matters more. However, I would still rather win this game than not win this game. I want to sweep Denver again for the fourth straight year, not give them a winning season as well because they're A and E right now. And we still have our first on draft pick even if we win, obviously. So I'd rather just go out there and play and win. Uh, to be honest with you, first things first, I think we will go out there and, and probably win convincingly i think like i think we're with how our team wants to play for our current uh, interim head coach versus how they feel after they bench russell wilson maybe some uncertainty with sean Payton because he has not really been the coach that they wanted you know, they traded a whole first round pick for him and they're sitting at a and a in their first year with sean Payton. and i i think we just play better than them uh i think we just out dominate them out physical them whatever whatever the case may be I think we're we're a better team still. I, I don't really, I know they had their you know five game win streak whatever it was. Uh, they're not they're not a better team than us, and they're not going to beat us here either. So I do want to really win this game. We would also finish second in the division if we do win. So that's what I care about more than our current draft pick. Uh, I believe the the lowest we can pick is fourteenth overall, and the highest we can pick is eighth. I believe if we lose and the Jets uh, win, that also helps our draft pick. But I'd rather win, obviously, and maybe some other teams that we need to win win so our draft pick doesn't fall too much. But I, I would rather win. Like, I'm not thinking about the draft order until after it's finalized. And, I mean, the whole season is over for us, which unfortunately will be after this game. Uh, now, of course, a lot of questions going into the off season, which I will try to get to at the end of the video. But first, I do want to talk about the game briefly, right? Played them a long time ago, week one, 17 to 16. We had Jermaine Garoppolo, who was actually pretty efficient in that game. Uh, we couldn't really run the ball. Never could kind of run the ball. Ross was efficient, but he only had 177 yards, I believe. But our defense, I think, is a lot better now than it was then. And they only scored 16 points back then. So I, I, I think we'll play well on defense. Jets, who I thought last week would just have a very good game, and that was not really the case against the Chargers defense. Like he did last year against the San Francisco 49ers, and then did not the following week against the Chiefs. I thought he'd play pretty well against the Chargers. Then kind of get brought back down to earth against us uh, in week 18. But now... I think we'll definitely play a pretty nice game because he didn't even play that well last week. I'm not really that worried about Justin. I'm sure he can scramble, but I think we're ready for that. Now, they're probably going to run the ball. Uh, they like Jaleel McCoughlin. I heard he might get some more touches in this game, maybe more than Javante Williams. So that's something to watch out for. They still have you know, some weapons on offense. I'm not a big fan of Jerry Judy at this point in his career. I was as a prospect, but Corlin Sun is there. Michael Levinci is out at right tackle, so I expect Crosby to feast on. I believe they'll start Cameron filming. I think our deal manager played well this game. I don't know why they didn't play well last game when well, we thought that he would, but they should, they should get back on track in this week, I I hope. Our defense should have a nice game. I'm not sure how our offense is going to play. The Never defense is surprisingly one of the worst against the pass, actually. I believe ringing at 27th for all the talent they have, for how good they were last year or the years prior. In pass defense, you know, with, uh, Sertan with uh, Simmons, Justin Simmons. But... We could be able to pass the ball on this team. We did last week in, uh, against the Colts, but we know that Gus Bradley covers for defense. is not too uh, hard to pass on. No Josh Jacobs in this game. I think he played his last game as a Raider. I just don't see him coming back. This year, the franchise tag does not even seem like a realistic option because it'd be $14 million And we didn't pay him that last year. and Or we paid him $12 million last year. And this year was way worse than last year, obviously. So I don't see us bringing him back. If he wants a very team-friendly contract, then I bring him back if it's like $8 million a year. But that that's about it. Last year I was big in the bringing back Josh Jacobs train, and this year that's not really the case. Um, so I do hope we let him walk. Samir Weish had a nice load in this game again. I'm excited about that. He did not play as well as I thought he he would against the Colts, but of course has got his um, his production going in the last three games uh, more than he has in his career. The last game for us under this uh, current offensive coordinator, Bahar Agri. I don't think he has really any chance of retaining his job as the offensive coordinator. Ian O'Connell at QB has a case, however, I don't think it's very high. We'll see what happens with, we're dra with who's going to be available when we draft about maybe who we want to sign. Um, O'Connell will be on this team next year, but him starting is not looking very likely to me, even though he does have one more game to state his case. I do want to win this game, but after this game, we have a lot of questions and a wild off season. We have you know, questions at GM, head coach, and QB1. Uh, and also, if we do retain our uh, head coach, we still have big question marks at OC, uh, offensive coordinator, because uh, we still need someone that's going to be able to uh, call this offense effectively. And that, that has not been the case under Pierce, or really, really the whole year when it was McDaniels calling the plays either. So a lot of important decisions, a lot of important hires. And of course, after that, personnel decisions, uh, free agents, draft picks. 
Me personally, I would retain Champ Kelly without a doubt. Antonio Pierce, I would also retain. I understand we lost the Vikings game. I understand we lost the Colts game. But he's still 4-4. Four and four, Has two very signature wins against the Chiefs. And of course, the Chargers 63 points. I mean, even the Giants game, you can count that. We beat them 30-6. to six. But I, like, what, what he does the, the, does not get taken away from the loss we had against the Colts. He is still a guy that these guys love. He's still a guy that we play for. That's why I think we're going to come out there and destroy the Broncos, even if we're eliminated. And he'd be 5-4 and four at that point. Like, that's during a season where you just have to take over with the rookie head coach, with the rookie offensive coordinator. And, again, during a season uh, in Week 9. So I think that with a full off season, you can be a lot better. Imagine if you're 4-4 four and four going to Week 9. We'd be thinking about the playoffs, you know what I mean? So I would love to retain him. I think we should. I don't want Jim Harbaugh. If we don't retain Antonio Pierce, it better not be Jim Harbaugh. Same train I was on last or two years ago. I did not want Jim Harbaugh at all. He can go to the Chargers all he wants and destroy that team. But I don't want him here personally. I'm not a fan of Jim Harbaugh. Uh, my number one option, if it was not AP, would be uh, Ben Johnson. But if that $15 million contract thing is real, then never mind that. But I don't know if that is, that is actually real. But that would be, be my number one option if we do not hire Antonio Pierce. No matter what, I hope Patrick Graham stays because he is the guy that got our defense turned around. We were pretty high on him when you hired him, then pretty low on him last year. Now, of course, um, high on him again. Flip-flopping, but I think we had a good reason to be we expected a lot from him last year. And last year, we were not that good on defense. But this year, massive jump, a lot of player development. No matter what, I hope Patrick Graham stays. But still, big decision to make an offensive coordinator if all of, all of what I said is true. So, and of course... QB still question mark. Yeah, a lot, a lot of decisions to make. Anyway, that's my Raiders Broncos Week 18 game preview. I'm Arthur, and thank you for watching.